the first song I'm going to do is, uh, like a lot of my songs, uh, really based on personal experience, so not absolutely right in this one. Uh, but it's, it's most of my songs are about life and about the things that happen to people uh, in, in their everyday life and marriages, etc. And this one's called, uh, it's one of the happier ones, it's called Red Dancing Shoes. <laughs> When we were both younger And our hearts were young too Life was so carefree then For me and for you And we never let work in Through the week get us down Cause we knew at the weekend We'd go dancing in town Well, we hadn't much money But we had freedom to choose So we both chose to buy ourselves Some red dancing shoes Dancing the night away In our red dancing shoes Dancing the night away, forgetting our blues. We had nothing to tie us down and nothing to lose. Dancing the night away in our red dancing shoes. Time passed away And the kids came along Life started to sing us A different song It was no longer carefree And at times got us down Gave us no time at weekends Go dancing in town To go dancing the night away In our red dancing shoes Dancing the night away Forgetting our blues We had no much to tie us down And too much to lose Go dancing the night away in our red dancing shoes. But the kids are now grown up and the last one's left home and we're here on our own again. Don't feel alone And we still don't let work in Through the week get us down Cause we dust off those dancing shoes And go dancing in town Dancing the night away In our red dancing shoes Dancing the night away, forgetting our blues, with nothing to tie us down, and nothing to lose, still dancing the night away, in our red dancing shoes, still dancing the night away. In our red dancing shoes All right, red dancing shoes <laughs> This seems really odd Because I'm here singing to a camera I have no idea what people are thinking at all So uh, I'll just have to assume you're there And you're... Uh, Hope you're enjoying it. Uh, this next song, 
I wrote, um, I'd, I'd uh, played the part of a, a guy with um, early onset dementia in a film. And while I was researching it, I spent quite a little bit of time with people with dementia. Um, and although uh, it was sad in many ways, uh, the one thing I found with a lot of them was that although their their relatives were upset about things and the state that they were in, uh, they themselves were often quite happy in their own world that they were living in. Uh, so that's where this song came from and it's called Seven Years Old. <laughs> Sits in his armchair, looks out at the trees, and remembers climbing and scraping his knees. But his world now is measured in dinners and teas, and he can't find the words to explain to the people who wash him and dress him each day, then wheel him and park him, and then walk away. That it's time he was going off outside to play Cause he's seven years old once again And it's hard when you're seven and it's sunny outside And there's mates you can play with And bikes you can ride And places to run to and places to hide And they make you stay in every day Visitors come and they sit down and chat They say they're his kids, but he can't believe that How can you have kids who are grey-haired and fat When you're only seven years old? He can hear them argue, but he makes it all stop And he's back in the playground with his whip and his top Playing hopscotch and marbles with Sally and Dot And he's seven years old once again And it's hard when you're seven and they won't let you be They take you to wash and they take you to pee And you tell them you've done all that since you were three But nobody listens to you Each day they tell him, as though it's quite sad, that he's somebody's husband and somebody's dad. But he can't remember, so he doesn't feel bad, and he's living in childhood again. And he thinks of his gran, who looks after him, and he's singing the song that she taught him to sing. He side, west side, all over the town. The kids play ring around Rosie. London Bridge is falling down. Boys and girls together, me and Maisie O'Rourke. We skip the light, fantastic. On the sidewalks of New York The people around they complain and they swear That he doesn't hear Cause he's far far from there With his granite the flicks dancing with Fred Astaire And he doesn't feel old age or pain He's out in the sun and the rain And he's seven years old once again Yes, he's out in the sun and the rain And he's seven years old once again There we are, seven years old and uh, I better have something a bit, a bit happier now, I think. Um, this next song uh, I wrote, while she's watching, about my elder daughter. 
when she was three years old and she was quite a character uh, she did what she fancied um, and had a mind of her own and it's called the song's called thing and it's called thing because when we asked her if uh, if she was a boy she said no so we said oh so you're a girl then and she said no so we said why so she said but, but i'm just a thing so this is where the song came from and it's thing playing out in the rain jeans back to front again shoes on the wrong feet face painted red and brown cause you think you're a clown why don't you ever look neat your hair's all yucky your t-shirt's mucky and what's that on your face not a minute since i washed you a thing you're just a disgrace all of three years old and you just won't be told you think you can get along won't have any help you've got to dress yourself even though you get it all wrong if i cross you or try to boss you about the things you did you just scowl and walk off you're an horrible kid then you turn and grin and i know i just can't win how can i be cross you jump upon my knee, turn your cheeky eyes on me, and I know that I'm lost. You just giggle and give me a tickle, and so what can I do? Then I drown me in orange juice, think I'll murder you. But when you're tucked in bed, dolls all round your head, and you're fast asleep. Thumb stuck in your mouth, quiet as a mouse, bedclothes in a heap. I stand and look at you, and I can't believe it's true. This angelic kid is the thing that drove me insane with the things that she did. Hi. Now then, somebody's telling me that I need to change my privacy to public, which I had done before I started, as far as I knew. Um, so I don't know if I can do that now. Yes, I had it on public, that's right. Somebody else, my other daughter's come on and said, yes, he's on public. Uh, thanks, I can see co comments coming up all the time, but uh, unlike Nick, who was there last week and had Michelle to tell him all the things that were going on, uh, I'm stuck here without my glasses on, so it's a bit hard to see. So you'll forgive me if I don't comment on them uh, too much while we're doing things. Right, on to the next one. Ah, now this one uh, is not one of my songs. This is a song by Guy Clark, and it's because Maggie from Seven Arts uh, said when I was going to do the live gig there, which had to be cancelled obviously because of the lockdown, um, would I sing a Guy Clark song? So I said, yes, I would sing this one. And uh, I don't usually sing it because I have a mate, some of you will know, Alan Moulding, who sings it absolutely wonderfully, a lot slower than I do, and a, and a wonderful version. So, uh, but uh, just this once, I will, I will give it a go. I'd rather sleep in a box Like a bomb on the street Than a fine feather bed Without your little old cold feet I'd rather be deaf Dumb and stone blind Than to know that you're mourning will never be mine I'd rather die young than to live without you I'd rather go hungry 
than to eat lonesome stew. It's once in a lifetime, and it won't come again. It's here and it's gone on a magnolia wind. I'd rather not walk through the garden again. I can't catch your scent on a magnolia wind. Ever comes time that it comes time to go sis pack up your fiddle sis pack up your bow if I can dance with you then I won't dance at all I'll just sit this one out with my back to the wall I'd rather not hear pretty music again if I can't catch your fiddle on a magnolia wind I'd rather not walk through the garden again I can catch your scent on a magnolia wind. Now, my dear, I hope that was okay for you. <laughs> and I see you say you were playing, playing your bass to it, which is great. All right. Now then, the next song. I don't know how we're doing for time, actually. Let's have a look. No, anyway, we're okay. Um, the next song is a, another song of uh, an event that really happened to me. Uh, and I was coming back on a train from Manchester. Uh, and this young girl came, well, young girl, a young lady came and sat down opposite and said, was it, was it okay if she sat there? And I said, yeah, fine. And we got into a conversation and we talked all the way till I got off in Leeds and she carried on on her journey. Uh, and it was just so, such a, a lovely conversation and a lovely time that I thought I'm going to write a song about this. Uh, and it's called The Girl on the Train. The girl on the train approached me with a smile Saying, is it all right if I sit here? Beside me for a while I told her she was welcome And I stood to lift her case Then smiled in my turn At the look of concern I saw upon her face She said I'm going to Scarborough My mother still lives there and Jokingly I asked her are you going to Scarborough Fair? I thought she might not understand But she laughed as she sat down Saying you come to this song early When you woke up in the town We talked just as easy As a man would with his wife the things that were happening in her young life and I found myself amazed by the easy way that she could share her hopes and dreams with a man as old as me 
And she seemed to pick up on my thoughts, surprising me anew, saying I knew I'd be fine, just passing time and talking here with you. There are people that you take to, and those you'd rather miss. And I've learned to trust my instincts in matters such as this. I'd been writing down some lyrics before she came along. She asked what I'd been writing, and I told her it's a song. She said she wished that she could write, and she told me how she'd tried to write a song for a father on the night that he had died. So I told her when my father died, I'd spent the night that way, and I spoke the words that had emerged by the dawning of the day. And it seemed that for a short while we were joined in time's dance, both knowing that chance meetings rarely happen just by chance. She said she thought that now she might try to write that song And we talked and laughed till the time for my departure came along So I said goodbye knowing I would never meet with her again But for many a mile I remembered the smile of the girl upon the train And now once in a while I'll remember the smile of that girl upon the train the girl on the train uh, which was lovely and I've never seen her since and I don't suppose I ever will but it was uh, just a lovely uh, hour spent spent chatting to her right now then um, yes a, a strange thing happened to me the other day I was I woke up uh, in my bedroom and looked out the door which was open and I looked straight into one of the bedroom and I thought that's that's odd uh, there isn't another bedroom opposite this one. There's one on the right that I can't see into, and then there's the bathroom on the on the left that I can't see into. Uh, I wonder if I'm still asleep and I'm in a dream, or maybe I'm hallucinating. And then I suddenly realised that I wasn't in the bedroom at all. I was in the bathroom, and I'd fallen asleep on the loo, and I was looking straight out the door at the bathroom, the bedroom that's opposite that. So, <clears throat> yeah, well, there you go. Uh, but it does bring me to the next song, uh, which is called Old Age. So that's probably what was happening to me. <laughs> right. You spend more time getting going in the morning. You spend less time sleeping at night. You used to like what you saw in the mirror now, it just gives you a fright. Getting upstairs takes you longer, getting down on your knees brings pain. But the pain soon fades when you start to wonder how the hell you're gonna get up again. Old age, old age, it's a sad tale that you tell. But it don't seem right fair that you took my hair and me sex appeal as well. You 
joints and your muscles ache, but your brain aches even more. You walk into a room and you wonder what the hell you came in for. You used to be a charmer, all the girls would turn and stare. But now they look straight through you, you might as well not be there. Old age, old age, you're creeping up on me. But it don't seem right getting up each night three times to have a pee. You still have bitch you were born with, they're the bitch you can still feel. But your teeth are made of plastic and your hips are made of steel. You go to see your doctor and he can't understand the rage when no matter what your symptoms he says you've got to expect it at your age old age old age just say bollocks to it and you'll find that your heart beats stronger and tells you that it's just a state of mind So there we are. I'm sure there's quite a few of you out there who will agree with that. <laughs> and the strange things that happen when you reach old age. Um, lots of com lots of comments coming up. You forgive me, I can't really see them. So forgive me, I'll have a look at it later and reply if I can. <laughs> uh, where have we got to? Let's have a think. Yes. Um, this is a song um, about an area that I love in Yorkshire, uh, which is Wharfdale. Uh, and this is particularly about Upper Wharfdale rather than Lower Wharfdale, but I do love the whole area. Um, so this is uh, a little lullaby. It's a bit early in the evening for a lullaby, but I'm going to play it anyway. Right, it's called Wharfdale Lullaby. On the treetop sings a blackbird, sings his song out to the sky. And it's echoed from the fell top by a curly whose plaintive cry. So go to sleep, me darling, should tide your weary eyes. And listen to the music. Of the lullaby. Your daddy's been gone all the day, tending sheep out on the fell. And whether he'll get home tonight, the Lord alone can tell. Your brother's been off up the dale. Stonewalling from first light And he'll have a right thirst on him So I'll not see him tonight But don't you fret me darling We shall see them by and by So stop your crying while I sing A wolf lullaby It's a hard life is this farming And you'll come to know it well Out there with your dad and brother In all weathers on the fell But these dales they have a beauty And a wildness all their own And I wouldn't swap this home of ours palace or a throne
untether means no to you you're too young for counting sheep so your mum laugh to rock you and sing you off to sleep so go to rock and hush now as the sun sinks in the sky and listen while your mum sings you a wharf deal lullaby. Yes, close your eyes and hush pet as the sunlight flies the sky. And listen while I sing you a wharf deal lullaby. A lullaby uh, and things flashing up on the screen in front of me just made me forget the words for a couple of minutes so sorry about that right I'm gonna do one more um, and that that is it for this session I think um, this is a song not by me it's by a wonderful songwriter and he was also a, a record producer in Nashville called Billy Sherrill and it's called Too Far Gone. I know that somewhere there's someone you love more than me. Someone you love more than me. And I hate to say it, but you have a right to be free. I know that's the way it should be, but I'm too far gone, too far gone. I've loved you so much for so long, and I'm too far gone If ever you knew love should hurt you or make you feel blue hurt you or make you feel blue Remember your old love will still be around loving you I'll be around loving you Cause I'm too far gone Too far gone I've loved you so much for so long And I'm too Yes, I'm too far gone, too far gone. I've loved you so much for so long, and I'm too far gone. I've loved you so much for so long, and I'm too far gone. gone now I'm looking at these messages and people are saying they want more and somebody's requested song for Mary which is a song I wrote for my wife <laughs> there's a story behind this when we when we'd not been together all that long and I was writing songs I'd written thing for my daughter and I was writing songs for the theatre and, and all sorts of things then 
and she said, um, you've never written a song for me. So I thought, oh, right. And I knew what I wanted to say, but I hadn't really quite got the words to say what I wanted. So I wrote a jokey kind of song, which uh, uh, was the best I could do, really. And I did that for her, and she sort of seemed to like it. And so that was that. And then, oh, it must have been nearly 30 years later, it happened to come up in conversation for some reason. And she just said, well, I... Uh, I'd, I'd kind of hope for something a, a little bit more romantic than that. So uh, I said, right, I'd, I'd, I'd better write one now. So I wrote this one and it's called, it's called Song for Mary. When I first saw you A little girl was dancing by your side the sun was in your hair And the summer sky was in your eyes And even then Though at the time I didn't realize Deep inside me something new You were gonna change my life few years on and that little girl and her sister by your side were the blessings in our hearts on the day you were my bride and the summer sun kissed your hair Blue sky lit your eyes And the whole wide world could see The way you changed my life Oh Mary This is the song I felt But couldn't write I had no words to tell you how you set my heart alight Now the world has turned and Those little girls have dances of their own And since I first saw you Many years have come and gone But you smile at me And the summer sky is still shining in your eyes And it takes me back To the day you changed my life song for Mary. Uh, happy memories. I'm sure for a lot of you too who knew her. Uh, right, I'm going to do one more and that's it. And this is uh, the same, it just reminded me of it playing these chords. <clears throat> and it's a miserable song again. It's like a, <laughs> more like my stuff. Um, and it's, uh, it's a song about kind of life and the way that uh, relationships kind of go through stages. And it's called Heartaches. It's an old, old story And we both know it well And you'd think that by now we could see That the journey through life Was never meant to be smooth for you, darling, or for me We should have known from the start There were sides to us both that could tear us apart Cause 
is when the heartaches begin and we're starting to sing that old song of anger and blame when the love's wearing thin and the hurt settles in darling here we go again Not that I don't love you, or you don't love me, that's never changed through the years. But life gets in the way, and the hurtful things we say to each other can only bring tears. Cause when we are hurt, we forget. And we say and do things that we know we'll regret. Cause when the heartaches begin and we're starting to sing that old song of anger and blame. When the love's wearing thin and the hurt settles in darling here we go again when the heartaches begin when the heartaches begin and we're angry and feeling the pain when the love's wearing thin and the hurt settles in darling here we go again Darling, here we go again. Right, I think that's about it, folks. Um, I've had a lovely time doing it. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, sorry I haven't been able to comment on the things that were going on because I couldn't really read them easily. Um, so I will have a look at them later. And thanks very, very much.